Welcome back, Truth Seeker. Thursday, June 11th, 2020. The big news today, the stock market fell 1,861 points. And again, this is further evidence of what I've been exposing for years, that the stock market is controlled by the cabal, and they can make the point gains or drops perfect. It's no accident that today the market falls 1,861 points. For people who know history, 1861 was the year that the U.S. Civil War began. And think about what the big news story was yesterday. The most watched sport in the nation, NASCAR, banned the Confederate flag, which comes from the Civil War, which began in 1861. And in case you missed yesterday's post on why NASCAR banned the Confederate flag, and debuted the Black Lives Matter car. Let's again revisit that. In Gematria, NASCAR sums to 56 with the alphabetic order, 106 with the reverse alphabetic order, and 43 with the reverse alphabetic order in rules numerology. The day they did this was a date with 56 numerology and a date that can be written 10 slash 6 like 106 and the card that they gave the Black Lives Matter to was number 43 and of course Civil War equals 43 and 56 so these things happening the same day the Black Lives Matter car and the banning of the Confederate flag and notice, Black Lives Matter with the alphabetic order and rules numerology, 56. With the reverse alphabetic order and rules numerology, 106. Going perfectly with NASCAR and the date this happened. Again, a date with 56 numerology and a date that can be written 10 slash 6. And really, when I did this yesterday, I should have just put up all four values of NASCAR. Yesterday, when I cut out the 20 value, I shouldn't have done that because yesterday had a life lesson number of 20. 6 plus 10, June 10th, 6 plus 10 is 16, plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 4 more, 16 plus 4 is 20. So yesterday's date had numerology of 56 and 20. The date could also be written 10 slash 6, and they made the Black Lives Matter car number 43. So again, our four base ciphers that we use every single day to see through the riddles in the news, it was right on point yesterday with NASCAR. And now you get this second Civil War tribute with the economy the day after. But I also want to remind the driver who w drives the number 43 car, Bubba Wallace, he wore an I Can't Breathe t-shirt, which also sums to 106, going with Black, Black Lives Matter, NASCAR. And over the weekend, once again, there was this story, the LA Galaxy player being kicked off the team because of his wife's social media posts. His name, Alexander Katai, this player for the LA Galaxy who got the boot because his wife posted on Instagram making fun of Black Lives Matter. His name equals 106. His wife put out a social media post that said Black Nikes Matter instead of Black Lives Matter, which equals 56 and 106. So again, I'm sure you'll see these riddles pile up in the coming future. This is the way it works. You lock into the pattern, you see the rituals they keep doing. Then again, yesterday, the day of NASCAR's announcement, you know, 10 slash 6, 56 date numerology, that's about as good as it gets for the ritual. And it was a big one with NASCAR, a predominantly white sport, a predominantly Southern sport, banning the Confederate flag. And then the next day, the market falling 1,861 points. And according to the mainstream media, it's because of the iconic two millionth case of coronavirus being confirmed. <laughs> As if investors weren't concerned when it was a million nine hundred thousand. You know what I mean? It's just that the stuff they give you is straight crap every single day. They mock every inch of your existence and expect you to not connect the dots. They know that the average person in America, if you ask them what year the Civil War began, they'd be as likely to pick the year 1300, even though the nation didn't exist, you know, as much as the correct year. The majority of people in the United States don't remember dates. They don't remember years. They don't know much about their own history. It's that phrase, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. 
Also at this same time, there's been a lot of stories in the last week of statues getting toppled, taken down, vandalized that connect to Civil War history. Also on the day, the market's fallen 1,861 points. CNN's kept up their top headline pretty much all day. Press secretary says Juneteenth is a meaningful day to Trump. He's resuming his presidential campaign on Juneteenth, which is the date to celebrate the freeing of the slaves at the end of the Civil War. And it began in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where we just had the United States of America announcing curfews because of the George Floyd rioting on the days of the anniversary of the Tulsa race riots. Never mind, HBO just made a TV show about the Tulsa race riots. A little predictive programming. Because again, the cabal's got it all planned out. But Trump all day, a reference to the Civil War. The market falls 1,861 points, like how the Civil War began in 1861. It's just a big old joke. And um, today also had 37-date numerology. Stock market used as a major riddle and ritual. And just to remind a few more things, again, the 43 car for NASCAR, Civil War 43. Don't forget George Floyd equals 119, Civil War 119. Donald Trump announced as the president-elect in the early hours of November 9th, 119. The word confederate also sums to 201, like George Perry Floyd. His full name is 201. I guess, again, George Floyd, the video of his killing, the protests, the riots... They're being used as the reasoning for the things that we're seeing taking place. The banning of the Confederate flag, the falling of the market, the call for the erasing of U.S. history. And again, if you're new here, this 201 number is massive. We started following it after Event 201, the coronavirus outbreak simulation of October 18, 2019. 201 is a number of the Jesuits who in history were saved by Catherine the Great after they were banned by the Catholic Church. She saved 201 Jesuits. Huge number with the Jesuits. Remember in Paris, France, where the Jesuits are from, on June 1st, they had a protest and march for George Perry Floyd, as well as Adema Traore, who was killed on the 201st day of July 19th, 2016 exactly 201 weeks before George Perry Floyd's killing. Realize it's all ritual, it's all plans. The Jesuits are behind all of this. If you look into the history of the Civil War, it's reported that the Jesuits funded the South to bring about the Civil War, to cripple the U.S., which led to the Act of 1871, which made Washington, D.C. an independent territory which was then taken over by foreign investment that came from the Catholic Church, 1871, Catholic 71. The Jesuits worked for the Catholic Church. Donald Trump, Jesuit educated, Jesuit puppets from Nancy Pelosi to Trump and beyond. So just had to take a break from the writing today to get this out there, important information. Of course, it's going to be tucked in the book too. <laughs> just amazing the rituals they continue to pull off and mock us with. People don't catch on to it, it's sad. Till next time, true seeker.